The loss of the ultimate AI, Aura, was the second major network crisis. In other words, the birth of Aura paved the way for the world's second paradigm shift. The world's golden age lasted from 2011 until 2014. When Aura's disappearance was confirmed, the world's golden age had truly become a dark age. A variety of problems, such as faulty servers, began to spread everywhere, not just the world, but over the entire internet. However, once CC executives learned that the cause of these problems was due to the loss of Aura, they began to formulate a plan to counteract against the silent danger. They would forcibly restore Aura back to her original state. They intended to seize control of the next network society by creating and managing this ultimate AI themselves. It was a return to the plan both CC Corp and Ultimate Corp had hatched during the first network crisis. That was back in 2005, when they were still using the Ultimate operating system. Ultimate had managed the network's hegemony. This is how Project GU officially began. It was all thanks to CC Corp's sponsorship. The budget was limitless. A special team was put together. First-class engineers, AI programmers, and other technical experts. I myself was also a major part of this project. I was brought on to represent CC Corporation and ensure their goals were met. The project's overall objective was to restore Aura, and thus GU's RA plan began. The RA plan. We were to salvage the eight broken pieces of the Morgana Factor, which had sunk into a sea of data after being destroyed by Kite's bracelet during the 2010 Morgana incident. It was thought that by sealing each piece of Morgana Factor separately into character data, players could then take control of them, one at a time. There were precedents for this kind of strategy. The mind of a player known as Sora had attached itself to Scathe. And there was Maha, whose mind was thought to have adhered itself to the wandering cat-like AI, Mia. Of the people involved in Project GU, there was one man on the team who was absolutely invaluable. Jotaro Amagi, an elite mind who came to CC Corp at age 19 after working intelligence for the Ministry of Economy. For his age, he was truly a genius. Although Mr. Amagi and I were far from what you would consider friends, our complementary knowledge and combined abilities helped greatly to advance the project forward. We were the two essential wheels that kept GU rolling. Our age difference didn't matter. Yet we would frequently clash in fevered arguments. For some reason, a strange mixture of feelings, respect, envy, and scorn, had begun to grow in my heart. Even so, Amagi and myself scoured the network, finally managing to find a single piece of the Morgana Factor. It was Magus, the Factor for Propagation. After a great deal of trial and error, the team finally succeeded in attaching the Morgana Factor to a character in the world. This completed prototype became known as an Epitaph user, so named for Morgana's eight phases of the Epitaph. The one we completed first was called the Epitaph User of Propagation. However, no one involved in the project, not even myself or Amagi, could use one of these characters. When someone would try to log into the world with one of these characters, an unbearable vertigo, nausea, and headache would paralyze him. The Morgana Factor, just as it had in the cases of Scathe and Sora, showed a high affinity for human minds. But perhaps 
that was only towards the chosen ones. Amagi had a theory that the Morgana factor could choose the player it would attach to, and though conditions were unclear, the Morgana factor would approve only a certain type of human. If that were indeed the case, locating those eight chosen ones became an important issue for Project GU. At the advice of Amagi, a search team was created within the security admin department. They would filter players in the world to find the chosen ones. Unfortunately, we learned that Sora's real-life player had already canceled his account with the world. We continued to produce Epitaph users one at a time, and eventually we had completed all eight of them. All we had to do next was allow the Chosen Ones to control these Epitaph users, then have them use the power of Morgana's eight phases to activate the program Amagi had created. This RA program would restore Aura. Gateway to Utopia. We at Project GU had come so close, we had almost arrived at our utopia. 